everyone. Good morning. Welcome to the United Church of Clinton, both live and virtual. We welcome you to this time of worship and praise. So of course we have announcements. Um, Tuesday night we'll be having church council, 7 o'clock by Zoom. The link has already been sent out with your reports. So you can read all the reports ahead of time and be prepared. Thursday night, we're having diaconate. That's at 6 o'clock, and that will be Zoom. I'll send out, did I send out a link already? I'll send out a link either tomorrow or Tuesday. Um, let's see, book study next Sunday, the 20th at 6 o'clock. The time's not in your bulletin, but it is at 6 o'clock. And we are reading the last lecture, and I am reading that book. I spent some time with it yesterday. It is really moving. If you want a, a really moving read, um, I strongly suggest this book. And if you'd like to join in with us for the book study, let me know, and I'll send you the Zoom link for that. Um, during the first hymn, the plate, gold plate is for Ukrainian relief, the plastic bin for mercy ships, and you have an explanation about mercy ships in your bulletin. Um, our online hits, this is just hits, for our virtual people was 22 last week. We're hoping that they continued on and watched a good part of our service. Um, we, we suspect maybe we need to have people stay a little longer. Join in with our worship if you're watching virtually. But we had a few people for live worship last week, plus the 22. I mean, just think of the possibilities if, if all 22 stayed on and watched. Our attendance combined would be very promising. Keep Ruth June, EDK, Art, and Everett in your prayers. Those are all of our homebound members and dad on um, being in the long-term care facility. We need your help. We're, we're hoping to bring back our youth programming for this fall. If you're interested in volunteering some time, just let me know. The first scripture reading. Okay, I need you to open up your bulletin. It's a little tricky. If you take the page where your first scripture reading is, flip the page right over, and the beginning of the scripture reading is on that page. So you take that, read the first part of this, follow along with Francine, and then flip it, and you'll get the rest of the scripture reading. Um, we want to say happy birthday to Haley, who has a birthday coming up next Sunday. The flowers today are in memory of my mom. She would have been 88 today, exactly today. So I'm thinking and honoring my mom in that way. Are there any other announcements? There were quite a few. Bob. <laughs> so if you want tomatoes they're in fellowship hall thank you bob yes francine did you have an announcement oh okay francine will take some tomatoes any other announcements um yes i'd just like to spread the word that we um we attempted to do but rain stopped play as they say in cricket terms we tried to do our, story, our wild storytelling um, a couple of days ago. If you look on our Facebook pages, you will see evidence of our wonderful Pastor Marilyn embracing <laughs> our, sto our wild storytelling mascot, which we will be looking for a name for, and also a hopeful who turned up for the storytelling before rain stopped play. But the reason for this announcement is we're going to be doing it again soon, so <laughs> keep your eyes peeled. We think this will be a wonderful, wonderful event for our community and beyond. Yes, stories and face painting and chalk drawing and games and ice cream. The ice cream is here and waiting for you down the line. Maybe with the tomatoes. Tomatoes are ice cream. 
save the ice cream for the kids. <laughs> All right, any other announcements? If not, let's pause, redirect our minds, take a deep breath, and we begin our worship with the ringing of the bell and the time for centering. Good morning. Good morning. Those who are able, please stand and join me in the call to worship. God moves among us. We welcome your presence, Lord, no matter by what means you arrive. Reach out your hand, and I shall always be with you. We reach for you, Jesus, and trust that you are present when we fear or ache. Your presence, O oh Lord, calms the seas as it calms our hearts. May we rest assured that you are ever present with us, assuaging our worries as you love our anxieties into softness. And on this beautiful sun-kissed Sunday, with the windows open in the sanctuary, may we now lift our voices and join together in Wade in the Water, which is number 371 in the hymnals. And for our virtual worshipers, we welcome you to join with us as the words appear on your screens. Kate will play it once through for us. You'll see that it starts with a refrain and then, a ver and then the verses. So it's refrain, verse, refrain, verse. So thank you, Kate, for playing the refrain, followed by verse, and then we will join together with the refrain.
Please join me in the prayer of the day. God, of so many names, you command us to come to you, yet we are doubtful of our abilities to make the journey. We are so uncertain of our steps, yet we long to have the faith in ourselves that you have in us. Be with us and embody us through faith to rise as we are called to walk alongside those who need for companionship. Show us how to be children of God who can set skepticism down and take up the mantle of faithful presence. And now it is that special time when we pass the peace of Christ to one another. And for those of us in the sanctuary, feel free to wander. Uh, We will sing Peace Be With You twice, followed by the Gloria Patri. And for our virtual worshipers, whether you're watching the streaming or coming for the recording, at this moment, we invite you to hold in your mind's eye all those that you wish to pass the peace of Christ to today, wherever they may be. So, the peace of Christ, everyone. Thank you, Kate. Peace be with you. Our first scripture is Psalm chapter 105, verses 1 through 6, 16 through 22, and 45b. Hallelujah. Thank God. Praise to him by name. Tell everyone you meet what he has done. 
sing him songs, belt out hymns, translate his wonders into music, honor his holy name with hallelujahs, you who seek God. Live a happy life, keep your eyes open for God, watch for his works, be alert for signs of his presence. Remember the world of wonders he has made, his miracles, and the verdicts he rendered. O seed of Abraham, his servant, O child of Jacob, his chosen. Then he called down a famine on the country. He broke every last blade of wheat, but he sent a man on ahead, Joseph, sold as a slave. They put cruel chains on his ankles, an iron collar around his neck, until God, until God's word came to the Pharaoh, and God confirmed his promise. God sent the king to release him. The Pharaoh sent Joseph free. He appointed him master of his palace, put him in charge of all his business to personally instruct his princes and train his advisors in wisdom. Remember this, he led his people out singing for joy. His chosen people marched, singing their hearts out. He made them a gift of the country they entered, helped them seize the wealth of the nation so they could do everything he told them, could follow his instructions to the letter. Hallelujah. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you, Francine. So please join me in the prayer of transformation and restoration. God, our gentle parent, bring calm to the storms that batter us and blow up soft pores. We do not need to walk on water. We need only walk through our lives as whole and holy children who recognize that your love unites us buoys us and carries us forward to face miraculous challenges in a complex world. Help us to see through the clutter of daily existence in order to focus on what is most important, love, compassion, faith, and connection. Amen. Even when we doubt God is with us, God walks beside us, through us, with us, and in all that we do. Miracles are among us if we see ourselves with God's loving gaze. Amen. So the moment for all God's children today is about Jesus walking, leading up to reading about the scripture of Jesus walking on water. So my question for you today, and you might have to take a little time to think of the answer that you're going to hopefully give me in a little bit. The question is this, what are some things, what are some things that require us to have faith? What are some things that require us to have faith? So think about that. That's going to take a little bit of time, I think. So, any takers? What are some things that require us to have faith? Trust. Anybody else? Any other takers? Life. Life. Yeah. Death. Anybody else? Sickness, Sickness injuries, yes. With all these things that are lifted up today, may we remember 
that Jesus offers us an opportunity to do all impossible things and does not condemn us. Praise be. Amen. And now let us join our voices in the second song of the morning, which is Precious Lord, Take My Hand. It is to be found as 628 in our hymnals. And if you are comfortable standing, please stand. If you would rather sit, especially if you're holding Kate's baby Gordon, you may want to remain seated, as Gordon, for those who cannot see, has now been passed from Kate over to the front of the pews. So on that note, we will join, and precious he is, and precious Lord. So we invite our virtual worshipers to join us as the words appear on the screen, wherever you may be. Kate will play it once through for us, and then we will join our voices. Thank you, Kate. So if you are like me and you forgot to bring your offering up during the first hymn, um, feel free during the last hymn to bring your offerings forward. So we have quite a few people we are thinking about. Um, these were people that were listed and mentioned last week in worship and some other ones that we continue to think about. Um, you can follow along in your bulletin, Christine's mom, Ellie, the family and friends of Jonesy, the family and friends of George, Cloud having successful surgery, and Cloud is Kylie's dog, Ruth, June, Art, Everett, and Rose and Jeff, friends and family of Dickie, Paula, friends and family of Christopher, safe journeys for the Bodax, uh, Amy, Mark, Teresa, Francine, Safe travels for Shelly, safe travels for those vacationing, Cassie, Wendy as she has surgery, Nancy, um, and all others that you're going to mention to me right now. Yes, Alana. Uh, for the people of Kauai and Maui. Yes, I have that listed, yes. Yes, Teresa. Uh, 
cardio. I wanted to get the right name. Any other prayer concerns? And that last one was a successful cardio version for Teresa, for our virtual people. <clears throat> Joys. Yes, Teresa. Yeah. Having a granddaughter to uh, spend some time with you, right? Bob. I was going to ask you about that, Bob. I want to hear all about it during fellowship time. Bob's family had a reunion up in their camp in Maine. Yes, our virtual people. Um, well, we have Hawaii, which was just mentioned by Alana. Um, and I think prayers for Nancy. I think that's for Nancy already on our list, but I'll mention it anyway. Um, prayers for Kelly to have a great vacation with her kids. And she has a joy in watching this service from Maine. <laughs> Yay, she Kelly! Said, <laughs> she says she'll miss Marilyn this week and the joys of friends <laughs> that make cookies for vacations. Um, I also, uh, this is virtual, my, my cousin Jackie, who most Sundays watches the uh, worship as it's live streams, she's tested positive for COVID. So um, hopefully that it will blow through fast. Um, I have a personal joy. Um, well, I have two. Um, it did not rain last Saturday night, which <laughs> meant that my family, all three grandsons plus one girlfriend all got to Tanglewood on the lawn for the John Williams movie music concert. We've been trying to do this for years. <laughs> so that was a great joy. Um, and just looking out over all of you, that is a real joy. And what Marilyn said earlier, the people who view our streaming or recorded services it's not a matter of how long they stay on. It's the fact that they find us, you know? So that is a true joy. And uh, my other final joy is my friend who has had stem cell um, transplant, uh, actually got to spend distance time with her a few days ago in her garden. And that's the first time we've actually been able to approach. So that was a real joy. Thank you. Any others? I have a couple. Um, a joy remembering mom. Um, sometimes I have trouble on her birthday. I don't know about you, but when you're close to somebody, sometimes you think on their, the de anniversary of their death, and that would have been August 12th for mom, but it's usually August 13th. But I think instead of being sad, you've got to lift up the memories and celebrate their lives, right? right? That's a good way to look at it. And the concern I have, you're going to laugh. Um, my son and his fiance bought a home in Tatnick Square in Worcester, and the place is a disaster. <laughs> And they're not even living there yet because there are some safety issues <laughs> that are involved and some mold in the walls that had to be removed and all sorts of interesting obstacles. But um, Michael is not here today because Michael, being a retired an electrician, uh, looked over their electrical situation and wasn't too pleased. So he's over there making the place safe. <laughs> So prayers for Nate and Lizzie and all they got themselves into. So let's go to God in prayer. Save me. This is our cry, O oh God, from the anxiety and worry that violence will find us. Save us 
from the illness that presses down on us relentlessly, heal us. From the emptiness that threatens to overwhelm us, deliver us. From the doubt that wonders if you will be ready to be there, rescue us. This is our cry, O oh God. And today we are lifting up in prayer the people of and people who have connections to Maui. Um, we're thinking about the people of Ukraine, people affected by gun violence, people affected by the extreme heat. Uh, we pray for a successful cardioversion for Teresa tomorrow. We pray for Nancy and Jackie. And we lift up in joy that Kelly has a chance to retreat and renew and refresh during a time with family. We give thanks for time with a granddaughter, time with a family reunion, looking out at each of you and treasuring your presence in the sanctuary this day, um, praying for a friend who has had stem cell treatment, and celebration that there was no rain last week and a family concert could be experienced. This is our good news, oh God, this following. Jesus is our Savior. Amen. So the second scripture reading from the day comes from Matthew 14, verses 22 to 33. And this is from, you notice we use various translations for the scripture reading. Um, this version, um, Bible version for this scripture reading is from the New International Translation. So it goes like this. Immediately, Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead of him to the other side while he dismissed the crowd. After he had dismissed them, he went up to a mountainside by himself to pray. Later that night, he was there alone, and the boat was already considerable distance from land, buffeted by the waves because the wind was blowing against it. Shortly before dawn, Jesus went out to them walking on the lake. When the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified. It's a ghost, they said, and cried out in fear. But Jesus immediately said to them, Take courage, it is I. Don't be afraid. Lord, if it's you, Peter replied, tell me to come to you on the water. Come, he said. Then Peter got down out of the boat, walked on the water, and came toward Jesus. But when he saw the wind... He was afraid and, beginning to sink, cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. You of little faith, he said, why did you doubt? And when they climbed into the boat, the wind died down. Then those who were in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. And so ends the reading. So for your moment of holy humor, we pause before the sermon to refresh our souls in a different way. Um, this is a little, I don't know if this is quite the thing for church, but I'm going to try it. And the, your response is going to, at the end is going to be, oh, okay, remember that. So a keynote speaker was in such a hurry to get to the venue that he, when he arrived and sat down at the head table, he suddenly realized that he had forgotten his dentures. 
Turning to the man next to him, he whispered, I forgot my teeth. The man said, no problem. With that, he reached into his briefcase and pulled out a pair of dentures. Try these, he said. The speaker tried them on, too loose, he said. The man dug around in his briefcase again. Here, try these. The speaker tried them and responded, too tight. The man didn't seem taken back at all. He dug around in his briefcase again. Here, I have this pair. Give them a try. The speaker smiled. They fit perfectly. He ate his meal and gave his speech without any further troubles. After the event concluded, the speaker went over to thank his benefactor and return the spare parts. I want to thank you for coming to my rescue. Where is your office? I've been looking for a good dentist. Oh, I'm not a dentist, the man replied. I'm the local funeral director. <laughs> You're supposed to go, oh. <laughs> Oh, it's right. So let us join our hearts in prayer. Holy God, as we contemplate Jesus walking on the water and the faith needed by us to join him in the journey, allow our fears to subside and our courage to grow. We pray in the name of our rock and redeemer. Amen. So this passage begins the same way our passage last week began. Anybody remember how it began last week? Can you remember back how did we find Jesus? It starts with Jesus in prayer. Many times we hear of Jesus retreating in prayer to be closer with his God and to reflect upon ways he can minister to those around him. It is a great invitation for us to seek out quiet in the midst of chaotic life routines, to find a closer relationship with God, and to contemplate ways we can reach out to others. We continue today with the theme, as we have in the last Three, now it will be three weeks, cast the net. And today we find ourselves hearing about Jesus walking on the water and Peter's attempt to do the same. The wind blows, Peter sinks, and Jesus' charge is to have faith. The wind dies down and all seem reassured. The theme for today is casting the net for faith, for faith. Reverend Cheryl Lindsay has been the inspiration for this series on casting the net, and she writes the following quick quote. Peter, the former fisherman, gets caught in the net of Christ's love, safety, and assurance. Maybe the response to that failure was an even more important demonstration than the ability of someone to walk on water. No one, in fact, actually needs to walk on water. Many of us desperately need to know God will catch us when we can't. So faith, Peter gets caught up in a moment of doubt for his ability to walk on water. Thus, perhaps his faith is in question as well. Peter tends to be the disciple who puts things out there. He later becomes a rock in matters of following Jesus' teachings. It is Peter who attempts to do as Jesus is experiencing. How much faith would we have to attempt such a thing? How do we now have faith to venture forward in our own faith and ability to praise and honor God? 
So it goes like this. It is the wind, it's the wind that draws Peter's attention to not being able to carry forth with following Jesus in this story. The wind can be both calming, yet also threatening as well. How many times do we not see the wind, but see the effects of the wind around us? How many times have you been in a car on a windy day and have had challenges keeping the car going the right direction without feeling that pull, right? And how many times do we see the trees bend and leaves shaken when the wind picks up? And we think most recently, and this is a serious concern, we think most recently concerning the island of Maui and how high winds fueled those fires that raged. It is the windy conditions that also shake up Peter. Note that Jesus does not condemn Peter, nor the other disciples. His words to Peter are encouraging. His words are, take courage. It is I, don't be afraid. Jesus urges us on when we are consumed with fear and doubt, Jesus urges us on when we find ourselves attempting difficult steps. Again, Jesus encourages us in our faith. And as Reverend Lindsay concludes, as we do for this morning's meditation, she writes this, they are in the boat, but they aren't fishing for food. Jesus had promised to teach the disciples to fish for people. In this moment, he invites them and us to cast the net for faith. Amen.
Amen. And I like the teamwork here. Gordon's now with Francine. <laughs> so the invitation to generosity, you know the drill about giving, and uh, you know how to give. The gifts of faith come to us in many ways, and the miracles we witness are not always so obvious. May the manifestation of God's great abundance in our lives inspire us to generosity in as many ways as we see God's love unfurl. join with me in the prayer of dedication and thanksgiving. Holy One, we thank you for revealing yourself to us in ways both big and small, in ways miraculous and mundane. Use our gifts to further your loving justice in our communities near and far. Amen. And now let us join our voices one more time for here. I am Lord, which is number 452 in the hymnals in the sanctuary. And for our virtual worshipers, please join us as you see the words on your screen. Kate will play it once through for us, a verse and the refrain, and then we will join together on verse one. Thank you, Kate.
As we go forth from this time of intentional community and ministry, let us practice replacing fear with faith and worry with a calm that is rooted in God's grace. May we more deeply connect with the freedom that comes from trust in something larger than ourselves. Go in peace and do God's work among all God's people. And now it's tall ladder time. <laughs> yeah. For the... And more photographs of legs going up ladders. 